Greetings. The Astoria Grande cruise liner departed from Sochi to Turkey with a stop in Batumi. The vessel, which is on a regular commercial flight and is not under sanctions, will call at Batumi on July 27. The Russian University in Georgia will not be open. A university that is not in the interests of Georgian society and education cannot be opened in Georgia. After the start of the special military operation, the Russians opened three times more enterprises in Georgia than in the previous 27 years. This is more than 21,300 companies. Two Georgian banks, in order not to fall under U.S. sanctions, stop working with the Russian payment system Unistream. Work has begun on the construction of a Black Sea submarine electric cable between Azerbaijan, Georgia, Hungary and Romania to supply green energy from Azerbaijan to Europe. Georgian wine, Renina, produced by Dugaladze Wine Company, was able to find its niche in the Chinese market. It is sold both in large supermarkets and in small chain stores. In Tbilisi, on the territory of the former Hippodrome, the construction of a sports complex with three tennis courts, a swimming pool, a fitness room, and recreation areas has begun. Georgian saber fencer Sandro Bazadze won silver at the World Championships in Italy. This season he won medals in all 11 prestigious tournaments and achieved a unique result. After a long break, Georgian MMA fighter Giga Chikadze started preparing for the UFC tournament. The legend of Georgian and Soviet pop music, Georgian singer Nani Bregvadze, opened her personal star on the first Avenue of Stars in Baku. Good luck to all of you.